you know, I've been calling for a couple of decades and I was by no means a natural in the beginning. I really struggled. It probably took me a couple of weeks to even get a sound out of a call. But, you know, in the past 20 years, just tenacity and practicing, um, you know, I've really um, developed an ear for elk tone. And I really feel that a guy doesn't need to have a dozen elk calls around his neck. He just needs a select couple, um, to be honest with you, that sound right, that sound elky. You know, and with that in mind, I really feel like if a guy has a good open read call, like this this matriarch that I have that I developed with Rocky J Jacobson at Bugle and Bull Game Calls, um, what really separates it is not just the soundboard design, which is fantastic, but the wood barrel. It just gives it a nice, real three-dimensional, nasally rich, sexy sound. Um, the bulls respond to this incredibly. This is the third year we've been using it and it's pr produced excellent results. This is what it sounds like. I think that one liked it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, anyway, it's just uh, proof is in the pudding right there. I mean, I mean, they just really, really respond to that nasal tone of this call. Um, you know, and aside from that, Mouth diaphragms, especially for archery hunters and guys that can blow mouth diaphragms, I've got three three of them. Again, I worked in conjunction with Rocky Jacobson, who's a world champion elk caller on these. They've got the pallet plate design implemented into them. I've got a Estrus Excited, which is the orange one. Um, the red one is called the Closer. It's an excellent uh, bugling reed. Some guys like to cow call on it too. And then uh, the blue one is the Challenge reed, which is a, a good, good bugling reed. And you can also cow call on it too. Um, let me just show you this uh, orange estrus excited one because I've kind of come about a sound that I call the estrus scream in the last few years. I, you know, I heard it maybe 15 years ago, but just struggled to duplicate it. And here in the last three or four years, I've just tried to refine it. And we've had real dramatic results out here in the woods using this call, um, making this sound, duplicating an estrus cow as best I can. I'll start out just doing a standard cow call so you can kind of get a feel for that and then I'll go into an estrus call. So it would be. Okay, into estrus. A lot more growl, a lot more emotion in it. he's coming <laughs> but anyway yeah this that call right there will produce absolutely dramatic results um, you know we're calling herd bulls in that are the hardest bulls to call in um, you know what's hard in dealing with a herd bull is the cows but we're finding that this call when you blow that sound on this diaphragm that the cows will come to it they're completely dumbfounded by it in fact on some of the setups we have the cows will see us and they just disregard us and the bull will just run right through and bugle and come right in on the setup and if the cows don't want to come the bull's still going to come anyway he's going to come in bugling so um, you know not an easy sound to make i'll be the first one to admit but if a guy really sets about and is determined to learn to make that sound accurately um, it will produce car crashes for you at close range <laughs>